Welcome to Code with Etook. In this short video, I want to show you how to create this head section of a website. Mercedes is not sponsoring this tutorial, and all the images used in this tutorial, they are not mine. I downloaded them from pexels.com. I'll keep a link to the images in the comment section. With this video, I want to show us how to use an image as the background of, of the head section of your website, and also how to place a transparent color on top of an image to create a better effect. So let's get straight to it. Quickly go to your desktop and create a folder. I want to call it Mercedes website. And the two images I'll need for this website is also in the comment section. You get the link to the images, the Mercedes logo and the car. Copy these two images and go to your project folder, create a folder called images and place the two images inside. Now we go to our VS code and we open this particular folder we want to work with in VS Code. My project is Mercedes-Benz website. I click it once and I click Select Folder. The first thing is to create the HTML file. Come to this Explorer section, click the New File icon. Let's have a index.html. Click Load Your Boilerplate. Change this right up here to Mercedes-Benz. So quickly, let me load the live server. I have my screen and I split it into two. Now let's start and I turn on my word wrap. Go to the body section and then create a header element. And in this header element, we want to have the nav section and we also want to have a div, carry the other part of the header. The nav section, we need a div that will handle the logo for us. And inside this div, we want to add an image and the source of this image called the folder images slash. We want to use the logo in that particular point. And the alternate text for this is Mercedes logo. The other part of the nav bar, we need an unordered list. And inside this ordered list, we need one li and we need an anchor tag. For the first menu, there is vehicles. Vehicles. Then click Control Shift down arrow to duplicate that line. Shopping, duplicate the previous line. So we have inventory. The next thing we need is the write up on the header section. So we want to create a class here and then let's call it header section. Inside here we we'll have a H1 heading, electrified and elevated. And we we'll also have the right top. And we have a Peter. We have introducing, introducing the uh, electric 2023 EQE stand. We also need a button inside there, so we use an anchor tag. And inside this button, we we'll say Explore More. If you click this Explore More, it should take you to Mercedes Benz actual website. So HTTPS www.mercedesbenz.com. We have this as a write up for the website. Now let's create a CSS file and give more beauty to our website. Come to the Explorer section and create another file. Call it style.css. The first thing is to link our CSS to our HTML. Come to the head section. Let's link it. Link. And in the href, the name of our CSS file is style.css. And to confirm that it's working, follow the link. First thing, let's use the everything selector to set the margin to zero. And then we set the padding on our website to zero. And then we set the box size to boil box. At this point, quickly, let's set the background image. The background image will be held by the header. And we say header. And we hold everything in the viewport. So we we'll set the width of our viewport to be 100 viewport width. And we we'll set the height also to be 100 viewport height. Meaning we want to take 100% of any screen that is used to view this particular website. To set the background image and also have a transparent color on top of the background image, you need two things. Number one, you need to specify the linear gradient. Then number two, you need to specify the URL of the image. We set the background image, set the linear gradient. And in linear gradient, we need to specify two colors. So we'll say RGBA. We want to use black, 0, 0, 0 will give us black. And the degree of brightness, we'll say 90%. Specify the second color. We also want to use black. 
and let's say this is 50 percent 60 percent will be better so we have that as our transparent color then we we'll add comma here we we'll bring in the image and the image we we'll use one dot because it's one folder up and we we'll specify the image and we can position our image very well we can say the position of the image we can set it to center and then we set the size of the image to cover the entire section okay so we have this as our background image if i should do full screen this is what we have as our website next in this head section we want to set the color of our text to be white also want to set the font family you can pick Sergio to have a better font so the next thing now we'll work on the nav section and we want the height of the nav section to be let's say 15 viewport height then let's set the display to flex let's justify the content to space between and we can simply align the items to center we need to work on the image immediately so let's say the nav image, let's set the height of the image to 70 pixels. We place a padding all round of 20 pixels and we'll set a transparent background color for this nav section to RGBA. We set it on, let's make it 30 so it's a little transparent. We also want to handle the UL immediately. Let's say our uh, UL set the display to flex and we'll set the anchor tag in the UL. We'll set the color of the text, we'll set it to white, we'll set the text decoration to none. And we'll also go to the UL, let's set the list style, let's set it to none. Then for each of the items in the UL, you are each of the allies we want to set padding left to 20 pixels let's set the over effect on this you can see the ul here colon over change the font width so we have this the next thing now is to quickly work on this and the item holding that is this class called header section with the class header underscore section and the first thing is to set the height. Let's give the height 85 viewport height. Set the display to flex and set the flex direction to column and justify the content to center and also align the items to center. This is what it looks like. So let's increase the text now. First, we go to the H1, call the H1 in the header section and then set the font size to 3 of its original size. For the P, it uh, will do the header and the P elements paragraph will also make the font size 1.25 here. Now the next thing is let's work on the bottom, the anchor tag. We'll come to this anchor tag here. So let's make the same effects that happens here to also take on this. So simply delete the URL. Then specifically for this one, it's in the header section. The header section, the anchor tag. We want this one to have a background color of white. And we change the color of the text to black. We'll make the font width to be bold. Padding top and bottom you can see 20 pixels left and right you can see 30 pixels you can reduce that to say 10 pixels and 20 pixels and we have a margin top of 20 pixels this is good for a simple demonstration if we want to do one thing more we can add one line here so we just come to this point and create a class called line and we call that class say line give it a background color of white and we'll give it a height of five pixel and we'll give it a width of 50 percent of the screen we put a margin bottom of 20 pixels okay so we come here and we reduce this width to 25 so we have this as our design we have the menu section we have our logo and if we click on this it will take us to mercedes-benz original website 
okay so it's working perfectly well i hope you learned a lot please remember to click the subscribe button and share this video thank you very much and i'll see you next time